So my guy was just walking by, just looking. He wasn't even looking for that long. He was damn near a millisecond. And he could have been looking to see if there were any open weights or any open racks. So now her friend comes out and tells her that these guys being creepy and staring at her. Um, may I help you? Like, do we got a problem? You looking at me? It would be creepy if he did this. Now that would be creepy. But my guy just walked him by, you know what I'm saying? And she just had to put him on TikTok saying, oh my God, he's a creep, creep exposed, just to get some extra views and some likes. It's like nowadays with this TikTok shit, you gotta walk in the gym like this now. You gotta damn walk like this to not get exposed on TikTok. What's your advice to a guy with feelings? Um, obviously you're entitled to your feelings, you're a human. But have them, but don't show them. Yeah, just cry, cry on your own, cry by yourself. Oh man. And I actually appreciate them for being honest, because you know the trend nowadays is like it's toxic to not want to cry in front of your girl. That is toxic masculinity. But if you are the rock of your relationship, man, you're seen as a man, you're seen as a masculine figure. If your girl sees you cry, she gonna think you a bitch. And these girls right here probably date like the jock type of guys. Let's be honest. We know the type of player build they probably date. The Chads. The Kevins, the Joshes. So they're used to guys being like, you know what I'm saying, manly. It's kind of like if you're in the army and you're following your captain, and your captain all of a sudden starts to break down and crying. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. We gonna all die. We gonna all die in this bitch. They gonna kill us. Would you follow that man? Hell no. Nah. He's not worthy of being a captain. He's not worthy of being a leader. So if a girl kind of sees you cry, she's gonna be like, oh, you can't leave me. But guys, if this is your first time watching me, my name is Jay Hall. And if you're enjoying the content so far, please follow me on Instagram. I also post content over there. And subscribe to the vlog channel. That's where you guys get to see me do behind the scenes. And with that said, let's get right back into the bullshit, man. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Just chilling on you. Oh, uh, do you want to come over? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what do you want to do? Do you want to like hook up? Because like I'm down. <laughs> Do you want to hook up? I said. Do I want to hook up? So that's a no? It's a no? Yeah, that's a no. What? <laughs> I was just, I was just asking. I posted this video on TikTok Reels and it kind of blew up and people were saying, oh yeah, that's my guy, he ain't no simp. So this girl called him up, but he was with his girlfriend. So obviously he's gonna reject her. But then she told us that he asked her to hook up in the past. So maybe if he wasn't with his girlfriend, it would have been a different story. Um, I just got married today. Wait, wait, hold on. So is love worth it? Fuck no. Wait, I'm wait. single in Miami. Who cares? Got married. I got married to one of my coworkers, actually. Bro, this girl is on crack. What the hell? Is she married or single? If you want to find yourself, live in Miami. But if you want to get married, get the fuck out of Miami. You just come into finding yourself as like a whole phase? Or what is that? All of the above. I agree with her, man. Get the hell out of Miami. What are you doing in Miami if you want to start a family? Go to fucking, um... Arizona or some shit. I don't know, just go somewhere but Miami, okay? And I never get the whole whole phase thing. How are you gonna find yourself by getting multiple dicks inside of you at multiple times? How is that gonna help you find yourself? You're just gonna absorb all that male DNA and it's gonna scramble yourself even more. If you truly want to find yourself, I would say the smart thing to do is take some time, work through your traumas, work on breaking your bad patterns and your bad habits and see what makes you think the way you think and try to break those cycles and become a better you and not having multiple dicks inside you. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to be a hoe, go ahead and do your thing. I honestly do not give a single flying fuck. It is a matrix. It's a simulation. The only time I will give a fuck is if I'm trying to date you. And if I date you and find out you a hoe, I'm not dating you no more. I'm gonna be like these. Her promoter said you can't bring your boyfriend unless he buys a bottle. So she FaceTimed him the entire night. Personally, I would not tolerate this level of disrespect. If she was really my girl, she was really down for me, she would not have went into that club. We could have went to another club if that was the case. Or we could have just went home, chilled, watch some Netflix. Fuck the clubs. I ain't trying to be in the clubs while I'm in a relationship. That's not it. Maybe there's something else we don't know about this video, but yeah, that's not a good look. And you know what else is not a good look? Flirting with other guys in front of your boyfriend. Check this out. I hate guys that... Are you a YouTuber? 
Y'all see this shit right here? First off, that's her boyfriend. And that's a loyal nigga named Jason. Now watch this. Live. <gasps> she bad. You better do it then. That's what you Do you guys have Instagram? Nah, I don't. We ain't got no Instagram. No, 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 I don't. We got numbers, though. Whatever, My guy is fed up. He said, whatever, bro. Whatever, She's trying to ask for Instagrams and numbers right in front of his face, flirting right in front of his face. That relationship was probably already on thin ice, and this was the icebreaker right here. It's done. It's over with. It's finito. And this social media shit is stupid at times. If you're not using it to better yourself or using it as a career, it's fucking dumb. Why didn't she get his number in person? I bet she just did this for the clout because it's a trend. And I'm not only talking about this video, I see multiple trends of people doing this. Being stalkers, recording someone five feet away. Hey, find this girl for me. You five feet away from her. Go talk to her. You dumb fuck. Nice guys do not always finish last. Um. No, they don't because I'm telling you right now, uh, like the guy, my boyfriend right now. He, yeah, he's a sweetheart. But the, what did you, you told me this recently. You were like, I did like, I, uh, do you want to talk about this? Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Okay. I was going to say, you said like, usually this is not who no, I No, it's for. not. It's not my type. Right. But like, because of the nice guy thing, it's not, he's not my type. Also like, but you're also 25. Watch how she's about to contradict herself. Right. So now you're but, mature enough to realize. But I'm saying, so like, I'm ready. I'm ready to like settle down in my life type thing. And that's normal. Like that, this is the transition. Now, now yes. that you're at an age where you're like, okay, I actually want a husband. You're going to be looking for a nice guy. But then you look at that situation. Like, don't you want to be the nice guy? Like, don't you want to, don't you want to wait for that girl? Like, do you really want to be the douchebag that girls hook up with on her road to find the nice guy? That's a good point. She just proves why nice guys finish last. And of course, I would want to be the douchebag that all the girls have sex with. Of course, because the nice guys get treated like shit in the process. When girls like her realize that they want to date a nice guy later on in their life, in their early years, they date the douchebags, they date the assholes, and they treat the nice guys that will treat them right like shit. They'll take advantage of them. So who wants to be in that position of being taken advantage of? Nice guys really want to be in the position of getting a girl and having sex with a girl. Who wouldn't want that? I can't blame her for not knowing. This is just something that girls don't think about. They don't They don't see nice guys. The girls just see what they're attracted to, so I can't blame them. You're right. Like, why not just be the nice guy and find that person? Yeah. And not have all the baggage behind you. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Wait for you? Settle? Bro, imagine someone being you because they settle for you, bro. Imagine that bullshit. Couldn't be me. I ain't gonna be with no girl that settled for me. She's not gonna have as much respect for you as she did for the Chads and the and the Tyrones and all that. So fuck that. What is your body count? 11. What are the chances I can make that 12? I mean, I've got 11 already. My standards aren't high. <laughs> hey man, she's she a good sport. She's a good sport. I like, I like her honest. She is. Chances are pretty good. Yeah. Okay, let me get your number then. This is because I flashed you, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, no. You got me. <laughs> Men's standards have went down so low that she was still getting married, bro. But it couldn't be me, though. It couldn't be me, man. This why you people die. Can't even hoop no more. It's crazy. This man really just picked up a gun. For a pickup game. It's basketball, bro. Why are you in your feelings, bro? One thing I want to say, guys, in the black community, a lot of us are very fucking emotional, bro. And we just do some shit. In the black community, you know how they try to push the narrative that police are killing all of us, right? And don't get me wrong, yeah, there are police shootings in the black community. But a lot of us are killing each other. A lot of black people are dying from black on black crime. Why are we killing each other? We should be uplifting each other, bro. I'm tired of seeing nonsense like this. You're gonna pick up a gun because someone offended you in a pickup game? That's dumb. That is dumb, bro. We becoming soft and weak. As soon as you hear something you don't like, oh, everybody die. Everybody die. That makes you no different from a school shooter. Shit.
All right. So, um, have you been here before? Yeah. Cool. Um, hey, excuse me. Yes. Uh, can we get some drinks here? Uh, do you want something to drink? A glass of Merlot. Yeah. Um, can I can I have one of those too, please? Thanks. Hey, so what type of, uh, what are you looking for in a guy? Um, first of all, he has to be an eight-figure earner. I need to have full-on shopping sprees, zero budget. Mm -hmm. I need to have all of my bills paid, be able to get my hair done, my nails done, and lay around and literally do nothing. Right. So, um, so what do you do? What do you do? I look good. Anyway, what do you look for in a partner? Um, well, I'm looking for someone who's like has a great sense of humor, you know, ambitious, has some goals set, and you know, just likes to take care of home and you know the person that she's with, you know, things like that. Uh, sorry, what? Hey, can we get the check, please? Prime example of why you shouldn't go out on dates with girls that are not that interested in you. If the interest level isn't like high to moderately high. Don't go on a date. It's not worth it. It might be boring as hell. She might be dry as hell, but she doesn't like you like that. So she's not going to put her best effort out on the date. And you don't want that shit. When you find out Wait, your like wife is well, nigga, I'm not jealous. Yeah, because you, you mad because I drove in a, I rode in Atlanta? No, but you know I know, bro, right? How you know him? That's the homie, baby girl. This is a Goofy. Goofy. That's the homie. Goofy. <laughs> huh? What gorilla huh? said? Huh? Go find some more. Huh? Go find some more. Oh. Oh, we'll find some more. First place I bet. Finish. I hear you. I know. Yeah. I know. I'm glad you do. I hope that worked too, though. Oh yeah, Kane, because he don't want your goofy ass I either. Don't want him. You want the car? I know you wanted the car. You wanted what came with the car. You don't want him. You wanted the benefits that he had, but he ain't got shit for you, Goofy. Well, maybe if he ain't got shit for you. Here, you want this? All right, then. You want this? But don't even play with me. You want this? Don't play with me, cause I really you want this? right now. Yeah, I hate you. Don't play with don't me. Don't walk up on me. Don't play with me. Don't walk up on me, bro. Cause now you really getting this your head, cause you really huh? Yeah. You answered that question yourself. No. What How the you, you got loyalty over love tattooed right here, and you don't even believe by that shit. How I don't believe? I by believe my shit. How I don't believe? I believe my you? shit. You listen to me. Like listen down. to me. Bro. We really shouldn't even be truck. arguing. It's day, my bed in the lamb truck. I should be proud of you that yeah. you hopped in the car with another nigga. Of course. I'm proud of myself that I found out that you a hoe. Bro, don't fucking play with me, bro. I I hate you. I really Stop be following me, bro. Stop following me. No, it ain't no stop following stop. you. Hey, take this girl day, home, bro. At the end of the day, don't stop playing with me. Take her ass home. Take her ass home. At the end of the day, don't play with me. Take my hands on you. Y'all chill out, y'all chill out. Shit to argue about, man. Hey, let you see me in the car with another female. I don't give a fuck. That bitch was a, a Honda Civic. You gonna have an issue. So I got a big issue. Get your goof ass out of here. All right, bro. This was just the car I used to show you what it was or so I could see what it was with you. We up out of here. I'm gonna go hop in my Find you a way home. Not even a way home. Find you a way back to Louisiana. Man. You don't need that shit, bro. I appreciate you, bro. You do so much better, fam. Fact, man. She's thirsty. And she could tell, I could tell she wanted it, bro. She, all of a sudden, y'all had problems. Did you even have problems with her? Like, exactly. Before when, this? Right, when we was just talking earlier, it was all good, and she was yeah. 100. Now we got issues in the relationship and worth it and all of that, man. Energy changed when she got in the whip, brother. She's a gold digger. I mean, I ain't gonna leave you here, but if you want, like, a, if you want me to get you an Uber, I'll get you an Uber. No, what I want you to do is fix the relationship that you just broke. I Let's didn't make up. you get in the car, though. Wait. Like just to y'all could have gave a girl a heads up or something. Like, come on now. Like that's real fake. Girls are so quick to put hands on a guy nowadays. Like, what the hell is going on, bro? She clearly doesn't respect him, which is why she was ready to leave him for a guy with a Lambo. And now she's trying to play victim and take no accountability because she got caught. Don't ever be with a girl that's willing to put hands on you. You don't want that shit. You want your girl to be a piece. You don't want to be fighting with your girl. And with that said. I'm out, y'all. See y'all on the next one.